God, I forgot how long that takes. All right, we finished the first part of our first relic quest. Very nice, very nice. Well, we're working on re-allying the pigs. This will definitely help. All right, we're gonna go re-ally these guys. I'm gonna send Christopher off. It's not gonna be enough to ally them, but all right, offer a gift. 52, not quite there. Not quite there, almost though. First, I got home and overdosed. Way to go, Christopher. Way to go. Bloodthirsty wreck. You have intercepted a distress signal on a hostile shuttle carrying a single phase master and three thralls. Trouble its engines. You can use signals to draw them. We don't, we're not going to do single phase this run. So I would only be doing this to kill them. And it's possible they, there could be some good slave ones, but even if we enslave them, even if we enslave them, they're going to need blood. Could be some good pawns as thralls, so. Full organ harvest before we get rid of them too, yeah. It could be good to um, raise medical on. Just continuously try to pull organs. We'll see. We'll see where they land. What? Adam? What am I doing here? The coven of cannibalism. That's a lot of risk for very little reward. We're strong, but we don't have armor yet, so. They have some really good guns. So I think I'm just going to say... You guys can stay in that corner. Which one is the single phage? A dad there, I think. So we're going to take him and get all of his organs. And I guess we have some guns to sell now. How do you deal with doomsdays and rockets? Uh, shield belts, rush them, and pray. It's going to be one of our big things that we're going to have to overcome. So obviously we're too early in the game to worry about it right now. So that's a problem for future us. We're just going to, we're just going to ignore that. Pretend that doomsdays don't exist until they do exist. But for now, ah, they just don't exist. We don't believe in them, so they don't exist. I still need lungs. Yes, yes. I'm going to, I'm going to end up pulling lungs. It's one of the reasons I took this guy to get his organs. Blim, I know you're asleep and you're unhappy, but you are our servant and you will mine with your one arm until it is done. What's, what's the mining equivalent of rip and tear? Rip and tear, rip and tear. Dig and dug, dig and dug until it is mined. Dig and dug. Involuntary death rest, oh no. Lumberjack's fiance? Just let it go, let it go, Lumberjack. I never saw her, did you guys see her? I didn't even know Lumberjack had a fiance. I still don't know, I still didn't know. No one knew, it's not true. Don't look at it. Fiance no more. Soon to be ex-fiance, bleeding out in five hours. Sad but true. All right, uh, we can start experimenting on ripping this guy's organs out. So let's just do, I mean, what is your medical at these days? It's at four, you know, it's it's getting there, kind of. Kind of getting there. Uh, harvest left lung, harvest right lung. Okay. Don't have any herbal medicine. We only have glitter world. I don't want to waste it on that guy. We're growing some finally, but it's going to take a while. It took us a while to get someone high enough planting to grow it. 469 raid, preparing for a while. Okay, it is split. We got six on that side and three on this side. Um, we need to go take care. The walls aren't done. We're going to go take care of one side. Where is the shotgun? Shotgun is there. That's the most scary. All right. Hey, go juice. Get it from him. Crap. Um, there's one gun. Okay. So we're going to melee block this one. Where do we want to melee block? Uh, let's melee block here. Blim, go open that door. It's going to be scary if uh, Lumberjack has a breakdown. That is one green Chewbacca. He is some bright green. Look at that. My fiance died. 30 days. Oh, man. You know what? I should have maybe just gotten them and sold them into slavery. Oh. Oh. Yeah, one at a time, one at a time. That's what we like to see. All right. There's your break on Lumberjack. Uh, let's go ahead and do one of these. Hopefully we get the mood boost. Maybe we get someone we can enslave faster. Come on. Hey! Uh, it was a beautiful one. Very nice. We got some friendly visitors. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to anger them. This isn't a Dream Daddy stream? It is, because I'm here. Fetching. Fatherly. 
and fabulous. I didn't know which button it was. <laughs> I was just luck. <laughs> but I'd rather replay Dream Daddy or Greedenfall. Dream Daddy. Yeah, 100%. Dream Daddy was actually a good game. All right. Uh, what do we want to grab? We got microelectronics. We need to get xenogenetics going at some point. Uh, you know what? Let's let's knock out double strain. Can I have cocaine money? No. You already got your allowed cocaine money for the week. Conversion. Okay, dragon is converted. Which one were you? We're the ones who are gonna have rip out organs, so we're going to enslave them. Uh, all right, so we have enslaved a dragon. Dragon is gonna be doing all the doctoring and is going to be doing cooking now. There you go, Dragon. You are an excellent slave. Way to go, Dragon. Losing Chonk is really silly. Yeah, <laughs> it was. I mean, who's Chonk? I don't know. You keep saying that name. I don't know. Here we go. We're going to get a lung. Hey, we got one. All right. Major break on Lumberjack still. Lumberjack, when are you going to be over your dead fiance? Never. No priest of pain. This is a tricky thing here. I make a priest, we get rid of the minus five, but then the person has higher expectations. It's, it's not going to even out for them, but it's going to help everyone else. Um, all right, Christopher, we're making you into the priest. Priest of pain. All right, we're going to make you into... All right, we got the other lung. Priest of pain. There we go. We got a priest, which means we can try to make Lumberjack forget. So we're going to counsel Lumberjack, and we're going to hope this... Uh, works and that he forgets about his fiance. Lumberjack, you never had a fiance. He knows better. He's now upset. <laughs> well, that did not work out. So, 2000 hours in world, never played with slaves. Can you explain the slave mechanic in a few words? Slaves are less raid points. You don't have to worry about them dying as much and you don't have to worry about their happiness as much, but they can rebel against you. So, they are basically worse pawns that are happier and cause less raid points, pretty much. Worse pawns, but you can have more of them, yeah, pretty much. All right, uh, we got double strand done. Now we are going to grab smithing. All right, we got two people that are planting now, so we can probably increase the impressiveness of this room. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to go ahead and plant uh, daylilies. Daylilies can grow off just torch or, you know, normal lamp light. They don't take full light. And it's going to increase the beauty of the room. The beauty here stat. So hopefully we get at least a mood buff from Lumberjack standing in here researching all day. Why so many doors this time? So one of the things we're going to do, one of the strategies, is to let some raids come and beat on the walls. And as they divide up to beat on the walls, we're going to run out different doors and, like, fight little groups at a time. So let's say a big raid of, like, 50 people show up. Well... They're going to spread out around the walls, right? And so there might be a pocket where there's like three of them. So we're going to run out that door. We're going to kill those three and we're going to run back inside. And then all the other raiders are going to be like, hey, what's going on over there? And they're going to come to that side and they're going to spread back out. So that is our main plan for killing with only these two people. Uh, bigger raids for quite some time because it's going to be a long time. Scooby-Doo strategies. <laughs> it's going to be a long time before we have another pawn, a real pawn that can fight. So, I mean, we do have some uh, meat shields, but... The slaves are not allowed to have weapons in our in our run, I should say. Door crating from last game. You weren't able to use doors last game, so now you're going to use double the doors, triple the doors. It's a little true. It's a little true. There's some truth in there. Opening Ancient Danger as soon as you find it, or should you open it only when you're equipped enough to fight what's in it? I usually wait until I'm equipped enough because I don't want the extra wealth. On 500%, I don't want the extra wealth early, but if there's good stuff inside and you can handle it early, it could give you um, a big leap forward, right? But if you open it and it's not stuff you really need and there's like 200 gold off of the bodies and stuff like that, suddenly your wealth skyrockets. You know, you get an Arcotech item that you can't use yet or something like that, and the next raid just kills you. So it's really a balancing act. But if you're not playing on super high difficulties, then opening it is, yeah, as soon as possible is is um, is great. I, I, usually, I usually wait. In this run, I had to open it early or else we were going to lose. Like, I guess we can make the altar closet... We might as well do that. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do flooring. Piece of wood floor. It's fine. And grab our altar. I'll explain the altar closet after I build it. Long live the altar closet. I'm surprised I haven't fixed this, honestly. All right. Let's see here. 53% only. All right. Let's give it a try anyway. Satisfying execution. Nice. All right. Let me explain the altar closet. So when you make your ideology... And you get an altar. 
Uh, you see how it has the variation of what it needs there? There are a lot of these. If you keep re-rolling until you get the requirements of it to only be a fully uh, floored room with no beds and no workstations, you can then put one of them in a closet to satisfy the needs. So this one is now in a closet with a floor, no workstation, no no beds. And so they don't have the altar, you know, disgraced or whatever. And that allows us to put another altar in a room with beds and workstations. And it will take the snapshot of the quality of that room for any festivals done at this one. Uh, but that's why I have them. Lumberjack's father, why do you have so many relatives? Oh my God. Were you tribal? Was Lumberjack tribal? Friggin' tribals. So, because this one doesn't have faction, stole. they're gonna end up joining and then we're gonna send them on their way. Gonna enslave his father? Yeah, probably. Like my dear old granny used to say, she was always saying this. Oh, so many big ones. Hey, get your mind out of the gutter. Granny grew quality produce that she took to the county fair and they were all they were all really big can't believe you'd think anything else honey i'm so excited i'm finally decked out i'm decked out as a twink i got everything you can possibly get to make the most powerful twink i'm gonna wreck some kids uh, i'll take no further questions at this time all right this is off cooldown we're gonna try to counsel lumberjack again we're trying to make Lumberjack forget that he had a fiance that died out in the mud. So. Hey, he doesn't even remember. Doesn't even remember. Lumberjack was like, what? I was engaged? People even mention it to Lumberjack now. It's like, hey, Lumberjack, remember when your fiance died face down in the mud and we could have saved her and we just didn't? Lumberjack's like, no, I don't remember that. Who? Never mind. All right. Plate armor's done. Black armor next. All right. So we're going to go into um, doctoring. And I'm going to have Christopher practice some medical stuff here. So we're gonna we're gonna harvest like the heart, the kidney, kidney, and the liver, tongue. Insulting spree on dragon. What? You won. Drop drop the sword. Oh wait, dragon was insulting Lumberjack's father. Alright, medical experience, nice. At least it wasn't his fiance. Oh, he wouldn't have cared about that. He doesn't even remember her. Race removes the worst you off. Yeah, if it's a removable one. Yep. Yeah. The highest impact one gets removed if it can be removed. I mean, not all of them can be. Like if, if someone is getting over a drug addiction, you can't be like, hey, you know what? You don't even really want beer, you know? That that, that one won't get wiped. All right. Lights are done. We're going to be using Toxfire Generator. We actually kind of want to start using those pretty early because we get a bonus when we fight in uh, areas that have pollution. So let's just go ahead and knock that out. And we'll need the electricity for all the gene stuff we're going to end up doing anyway. So, so yeah, we need to get all these doors done. And then I need to get uh, allied with the pigs. And then I need to get shield belts. Mad Muffalo. 645 raid points now. Ouch. We're gonna prepare for a while. It's a it's a double hit. Eight melee up there, five here. It's all melee. Okay. Uh, raids are getting kind of scary for two people to take care of. How many slaves? I can have as many slaves as we as we want. Yeah, we just gotta worry about uprisings. And they can't use. We're making it so slaves can't use weapons. So I could make sure they have gojis before the fights. Yeah, because we have plenty of neutrabine and psychite and stuff like that. So I'll probably do that. But are worth it this run i thought about it i really thought about it i researched it earlier and i really thought about it especially with goju making it so it doesn't slow us down so it's uh it's a very it's, it's a big possibility that we will actually use some plate armor yeah all right here we go so christopher take go juice lumberjack take a go juice that pile of death there anyone there tough I, I didn't see any that were 
tough that are still alive. There's a brawler. Fast learn is fast learn is incredible, yeah. But I'm looking for candidates for the next melee god right now, and I'm I'm looking for tough only. I mean, other things are important, and we might take some other really good pawns, but I'm mainly looking for a tough pawn right now. I don't want more raid points. Like, all melee is the best for us. Like, that kind of raid is actually the best for us, because we can just do two-on-one the entire line of them. But imagine if that was 14, like, pirates, you know, with guns, so. Playing on the muffalo. Um, we might want to take the muffalo away, then. To use him before he dies. Or Jack, can you kill these guys for your kill thirst? There you go. There should be enough to ally the pigs, I think. That was the first hit. Oh man, we should wait like four and a half days. But then the muffle is dead in that time. Oh, I'm gonna take the risk. I'm gonna take the risk. Alright, Christopher. Hopefully you come back to an actual base and not a crater. Am I still naming slaves? Uh that's right. I need to name Dragon. Thank you. Go fast boots! Come on, Cassander. Be cool. Be cool, Cassander. Uh, then I actually do it. Wait, how much do we need? We need 40. So we don't want to over, overdo that. So there we go. Enemy now neutral again. So now we can trade with them once more. No shield belt. No low shields. Okay. Um, fine then. We will. Uh, we'll stop somewhere else and look there. They have a good mono sword. We have nowhere near enough money to get that though. Not yet. We grab the telescope. Yeah, well, let's go ahead and get that out of the way. And then we're just going to come straight back home. Okay. Wow, we got back just in time. Look at that. The buffalo is uh, about to die right as soon as we get back. Crazy. Buffalo died. Man, oh man, he held out just long enough. That's crazy. Okay, we need uh, a couple more of those doors done, but we can temporarily do it differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, go into structure. I'm going to grab a wooden wall. And we're just going to put one here and here. The village device. More information about Fearbringer. Let you visit on priestess of worshiping, but they will attack when you touch it. Uh, all right. Where is it? Oh, it's very close by. And it's in an area with pollution. That's going to give us a buff over there. All right, let's accept this quest. Okay, we'll get a free component, basically. We're going to wait almost the maximum time. Because it might align with Cassandra. Arrive 22 hours later. Okay, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead. Now, visitors. But we control him, so we... Man. We can't make him drop that either, so I'm not sure what to do about it. We don't want him breaking down while he's here, so we're going to put him on... Um, Triphasic. Make him melee with a minigun. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so we can control him. No drugs for you, my friend. So I'm, I'm going to get melee experience from it, basically. I know we can just hold out against the squirrels and just not worry about them. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, we can do that way. Screw it. Then, then if Cassandra attacks during that, the squirrels will help. So I think we'll do it that way. Hey. Hey. What the crap, Justin? He better not have any bullet wounds. It's coming out of your paycheck. Yeah, you're lucky this time, Justin. All right, nice. Busting this out. Busting it out. Uh, let's see. Won't need any of those, I don't think. Well, let's check what most important. Fire foam. Very important for this run. My slaves are getting that open air like free range chickens. That's right. 800. Is that? That's the quest. All right. That's the quest. Okay, I think I have it all set up. We're going to draft and we're going to see if we can pull people out. We can't. So that means we are good. All right, we're good. And the wild human exit. Uh, no, because they're dead. In fact, they're a simple meal now. So the only way the wild man is going to exit is through our through our digestive tract. How many manhunting squirrels are we able to defeat IRL? <laughs> I don't know about that. Squirrels are kind of vicious, actually. They latch on. I mean, I would come out pretty injured, you know, but I, I could grab a few and chunk them. Inversion. All right, this guy's converted. We're going to use him to help with plants. So time to enslave. You know, the size of the squirrel, that's true, too. We're talking about, like, infant, infant, uh, baby squirrels. And if they go for the nuts or not. All right, I think we're good to open these back up. We are There's still one an angry squirrel army. out there. Oh, he's, he's headed out. Now that we're producing enough tea, let's go ahead and change that. So we're going to go into assignment to manage the drug policy. We're going to select the melee god policy. And psychite tea, we're going to do every two days now. 
All right, we got a new slave. Put them on biphasic schedule. Work zone and no drugs for the slaves. And we got to get a name for them. Mind freeze. Wealthy rimming and got confusing results. Uh, yeah, I haven't made a guide on that one yet, Aram. I'll work on that. Work on that. Uh, that'll be on the OnlyFans, though. Exclamation OnlyFans to get there. To uplift any of the current slaves, I am not. No. I'm not. Quick sleeper's good. Nimble. Like this one, maybe we do need some doctors and stuff. So this one is like a, is a decent one. Nimble, faster, iron willed. Actually, mind freeze. Mind freeze. And he has good melee. If, if I was going to take one of these, mind freeze is the biggest candidate right now. But I'm really looking for tough pawns. That's the big one I'm looking for to uh, uplift to melee god. So we'll see. We've only found one tough pawn right now, and that's Lumberjack. So one thing is, um, Lumberjack, we need to get them a better weapon sometime. He also needs to get a kill. He has the kill thirst weapon, so... Uh, we need him to kill something. Come kill this Ibex. <laughs> Melee level 20. God. Is Lumberjack okay? Uh, no. No, not exactly. Exactly. All right. Humps. Humps and Fugly. <laughs> tough, good melee, good construction, good social. I think Humps is always tough, yeah. A waster doesn't matter because that'll be gone. That'll be gone. How long? 1.1 year. We would basically have to have him as a slave for a year. All right, well, let's, uh, let's imprison him and then we'll decide. He can't be a colonist right now, so it doesn't matter. We gotta, we'll decide. Does the zombie look because their xenogenes are changing? Zombies. These are hulking melee gods zombies i don't know we just made them red eyes and we're like what if we make their skin green too i don't know <laughs> it wasn't to be zombies no kind of works that way a little bit although if we did a zombie theme run uh i would do it a lot differently uh we can try this again but depending on where it lands we not might not be able to do it yeah they're closer to orcs yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and do this and worst case scenario we just let them destroy it if it's too crazy all right, let's see how big these kind of raids are and if we're just going to let them take the ship or not. I'm not going to lose our people trying it. Eight. Eight people out in the open. I think we could actually take it. Oh, this is dangerous. But we only need to kill like four or five. We want to gang up on them so they hit the numbers where they retreat. There we go. So that wasn't bad at all. Ash up. How are your needs looking? Your needs are fine. You might do an extra go juice. I shouldn't do that, but act this drone. Space drone attack again already. needs are fine go back it's gonna give us a lot of human leather again too just get some loose fear i'm actually really tempted really tempted I it will be nuts but then we have to keep loose fear up I, I might do it the best melee weapon in worm world that you can craft the best two uh, again the answer is it depends but really plasio longsword and uranium mace are both really good for different reasons uh, but even things like a plasio knife plasio knife attacks very fast causes lots of wounds uh, and can lock them down so just it just depends but you can't go wrong with plastic longsword uh or uranium mace other ones you can craft what's one of planting those flowers indoors to level up plant skill no you see this room it's impressive it's for beauty flowers increase beauty look at the beauty stat around them and they grow in just torch or lamp light you don't need sunlight or sun lamps and so it increases mood, it increases room impressiveness, it increases mood. You can just plant them right in the friggin' floor. Ooh. 
We gotta get shield belts. After this is over, I'm gonna send Christopher to go see if we can find shield belts. How many of them would you addict to Lucerium? All the melee god pawns, yeah. Global Lucerium addiction run, I don't know. All right, let's see if we can knock this out here. Look at that jade doesn't get destroyed. Oh, it can't, it doesn't have HP. All right, butchering some humane leather and meat. Free range, free range tribals. I don't think we need this in this one at all. Grab smoke pop. All right, Cassandra is off cooldown. We gotta wait until she hits before I can take this stuff, which means we're probably gonna lose out on a lot of that human meat. Uh, we'll just do Axe Survival Mule times four. Yeah, I, I was looking for a um, an animal handling slave. But I didn't get one. So we'll check these for animals. Three. There's a four. That's good enough, maybe. Animals and plants and fast learner. 67. All they need to do is train some animals for us that, just for a trip. And then we can be done. Paul Shelton. All right. Betrayal. All right, Paul. Slave. Paul. Okay, Paul. Uh, we're not keeping him. Right? No, he's just the animal one. So, slave mule. But I gotta be careful because we're getting higher and higher in raid points. All right, wildlife. Uh, we need them to grab. Ooh, there's there's horses now. Grab horses. That would be excellent. Mm -hmm.